So when it comes to the 3DS hacking scene and flashcards and whatnot, Gateway does seem to be at the forefront of it because of the amazing utilities that it comes with, the user interface, and considering that the update coming up is going to allow for a lot more flexibility and compatibility, everyone's excited about the Gateway, but there's someone else who maybe to me is in the background, but some of you guys may know about it. It's called the Sky 3DS, and this is another flash card which is going to give the claims of playing your 3DS ROMs as backups and playing homebrew as well too, but it's going to be doing it on the most native firmware to date, 9.4. So right now, Sky 3DS, we're on the website, and this is my first time hearing about the flashcard. Somebody linked me to it in the comments of one of my videos. Sorry I couldn't get you a shout out in this one. Things have been a little crazy for me, but um, thank you to that person. And I figured out, like, you know, well, I didn't figure out, but I, I saw, like, whoa, this is another flashcard that's kind of like doing more than Gateway in terms of being compatible with the latest firmware and whatnot. So let's see what these guys are all about. Sky 3DS. We are now proud to announce that the Sky 3DS flashcard can play 3DS games on any 3DS console directly, including the most recent version 9.4.0-21. If you updated your 3DS recently, this is the newest firmware. 9.3 was it, but then this one came out as well too, so it's really patching up any kind of exploits that could exist in the 3DS, including Ninja Hacks' Cubic Ninja exploit and including the Gateway 3DS right now. So the groundbreaking new technology will be up for grabs very soon. Be sure not to miss it and check out the video below for more exciting details. So the Sky 3DS right now has some big claims out there that their firmware, I mean excuse me, that their flashcard will be able to work on the latest 3DS firmware, which is big news because right now we're still waiting on Gateway to give us their recent update to make it work on the old firmware of 9.1 and 2, which is already outdated. So a lot of people are already missing out on the Gateway. I didn't update my 3DS yet because I want to have access to the Gateway, but if you did anytime soon, then you're out of luck. But if you are, then you might just have the Sky 3DS to rely on. So let's take a look exactly at what the Sky 3DS is offering us and see if it really does hold up to its claim of being the first 3DS flash card to be compatible with the 9.4 update. And even if they, you know, so, so let's see, you know what, I don't want to put out any of my doubts just yet. I want to see what they have to offer here. So let's check out their YouTube video on this subject. So, is my volume up? Yeah, okay. Maybe they just don't have volume in the video, but um, <clears throat> Sky 3DS seems to have this whole Transformers theme going on, which is a little bit odd, but hey, if it looks good on the box art, then why the hell not? So that's the Sky 3DS, and that's the uh, memory card going in, which will be holding all the backups. And it has a strange little blue switch at the top. I don't know what the functionality of that is, but hmm, let's see. What I'm going to be looking out for is, of course, obviously the firmware version. But I'm going to be seeing if you can play games of other regions on a different region. All right, so that's the latest firmware, 9.4. So so far, we're looking good. But um, what I'm curious about is, will this be able to play um, games from other regions and bypass the whole region lock thing like the Gateway is able to? Will it allow for you to play multiple games off of the SD card like the Gateway is able to? You know? Will it allow you to emulate the most recent, um, the most recent firmware to access the eShop and access online features like the Gateway 3DS will? Will it allow you to save games to the SD card to play them all off of the um, 3DS without the Gateway installed? like the gateway can, you know? So, Sky 3DS seems to have a strange little blue button at the top of it. Let's go back a little bit here. So you put the Sky 3DS in, and you turn on the switch, and apparently the game changes, and it becomes something else. It's a little bit odd. I mean, because there's no sound or any kind of audio cues, it's tough to know what's going on exactly. But there's a light on top, and the light changes color. I mean, excuse me, the light blinks a little bit and then you have a new game pop in there. But was Sonic Generations the backup that was downloaded to the SD card in the first place? Not sure. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 what? So, wait a minute, okay, I think I understand now. You press the button at the back of the Sky 3DS, and when you press that button, the game cycles through. So, the game that you have on there will simply just go in a loop this can be a little bit cumbersome, I can imagine, if you're a person that has a huge SD card with a bunch of backups saved on it. But it does kind of have like a little bit of an easy learning curve, I guess. I do like the menu system that the Gateway seemed to have when it had the menu pop up and you choose which backup to load. But this system works out okay too. You just have to press the button on the Sky 3DS and it will literally cycle through all the games that you have downloaded on there. Uh, 
It's pretty cool actually, but I'm not, and even though it's a Japanese 3DS, I'm waiting to see if there's an American title that's going to be shown in the game list, or the game cycle that he's going through. Because if there's an American title, then it bypasses the region lock. Sure enough, that's Cubic Ninja, so it looks like the Sky 3DS will be bypassing the region lock of the gateway, I mean, excuse me, of the 3DS ROMs as well too, so that's a really big incentive right there to purchase the Sky 3DS if you can't wait for the gateway to catch up to 9.4, if you update it, that is. Um, so, so far, it seems like, like I said, the system could only be cumbersome if you have a ton of games in your SD card, but considering the size of 3DS games, you probably won't be able to fit any more than maybe 10, 12, maximum 20 on a typical SD card, mini SD, so I mean, you should be fine. There's Maple Story for the 3DS. When the hell did this happen? Although there is Ragnarok for the regular DS, so I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. But um, right now we're just seeing him cycle through. Let's take, let's fast forward a little bit and see if we can see anything else going on here. It doesn't seem like there's a menu system for the gate, I mean, excuse me, for the Sky 3DS. It doesn't seem like there's a menu, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, of course, I could be judging it way too early. Most likely I am, but let's see what other stuff you can do. So right now, he just loaded up a ROM, but I want to learn more about the guts of this guy for the S. Okay, so he's closing the ROM now. Pressing the switch once more. That must be the menu system. When you press the switch again, either it takes you to the beginning of the cycle or maybe something else happens. I think it took him to another game in the in the cycle. So so far we're not seeing any kind of menu access here, but to be jumping the gun. So a little strange right now. We didn't see any kind of menu access, so things are a little bit questionable. Maybe something else will pop up. Well, so far, what we're seeing is the thing works basically well with backups, but another main reason why you would buy this is to run homebrew applications on your 3DS, and we're not seeing any kind of native homebrew support or any kind of menu support, which could simply just be an oversight of the video, but let's see what the details on the website actually say about this. So um, let's see, Sky 3DS features, plug and play, easy to use, and multi-ROM support. We saw that it supported in the video. Support any 3DS system version, including the latest. We saw that. Support all new 3DS, 3DS XL, XL consoles. That's basically the same as the previous statement. Support eShop and online games. So this one, could it be considered somewhat of like an emuland, like on the 3DS, excuse me, like on the gateway, where it kind of emulates the latest firmware, even though it's not on the latest firmware? I don't know, but it does say that it'll work online and for the eShop, which is very, very good beneficial stuff to have on your side when you're using a flashcard like this. Sorry about the phone in the background, by the way. Compatible with any micro SD card, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64, and 128 gigabyte SDHC cards. So f forget what I said about there not being that many games on there. You can fit a ton of 3DS games backups on there. Um, it just looks like a little bit of a tough system to, you know, to cycle through all of them. And where does it save the data? Is there any kind of way to load it? Things don't really look as polished as the gateway, but they do look functional and they look like you know, they're gonna do the job, even if it's not as, you know, articulate as how the gateway's getting the job done. So, like I'm saying, this is a very viable alternative to the Gateway 3DS. Um, now here's the Q and A's. I have a new 3DS with the firmware, blah, blah, blah. Can it work? Yes, we know that. Will it be able to play? Yes, we know that. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Will it be able to play new 3DS exclusive games? Yes, Sky 3DS can play any new 3DS exclusive games. This one is something that I don't think we've seen from Gateway. I'll have to confirm this. I don't think we saw this from Gateway. Not too sure. Don't cut my dick off for it. But right now, what Sky 3DS is saying is that it will be able to work for games like the new Xenoblade coming out for the new 3DS. That is actually a big benefit. So you don't have to buy a new flashcard to work with a new... Because, you know, let's be honest, the new 3DS is kind of a new console in a way. New 3DS games won't work on the old 3DS games. So, I mean, excuse me, new 3DS games won't work on the old 3DS. So you can kind of say it's a new console. Let's see some more Q&A questions. Can this flashcard play 3DS games online? Um, yes, it can play 3DS games online as a genuine gamepad did, and also save, load, edit, etc. Very good stuff to know. Does it require special things to do before using it? 
You don't need any special thing. Just drag and drop the downloaded ROMs into the micro SD card by the disk tool we provided and enjoy it. Interesting. So it looks like it's going to be pretty damn basic. It's going to get the job done. Maybe not as fancy as some other flash cards out there, but it'll get the damn job done. That's what they're saying. So, I mean, hey, um, does the Sky 3DS have emulators? Well, this is what I inquired about before with emulating the latest firmware like the Gateway does. Um, will there be a region lock? Will there be a region unlock so I can play the games on my European 3DS from Japan or US? No, it does not need Emuland at all. It can support any 3DS system version, even the newest 9.4. So I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of having Emuland in the first place, huh? Um, because it's... The text is a little bit obscure. Because it's region locking like a real gamepad, you cannot play US or Japanese games in your European 3DS console. Oh, that sucks. Because, wait, let's take a look one more time. Um, no, you do not need Emuland at all. Emuland at all. It can support any 3DS system version, but because it's region locking like a real gamepad, you cannot play US or Japanese games in your European 3DS console. A lot of points lost. Sky 3DS, a lot of points lost. I'm sorry, but even though your even though your flashcard does work with the latest versions, you will be limited to playing games only from your region, which does suck. You cannot play US or Japanese games on your European 3DS console, and I'm sure this is the case for all of them. So you will not have region lock, um, region lock compatibility with any of your titles. So this kind of sucks, but um, you know it, it is kind of like a major points lost for certain people, but not for everybody. If you don't really care about region lock and you'll only be playing games from your region, then by all means, this is going to be a fine purchase for you. But for people that do tend to look into other games from different places, like Japan and whatnot, you're kind of going to be out of luck. And I figure, and to me, this is a huge, this is a huge reason why I probably won't be getting the Sky 3DS, because that region lock loss is just, that's just bad. The fact that the region lock is still able there, that, that's that's really bad in my opinion because there's a lot of Japanese 3DS games that are big out there and that we will never have access to here in the United States that I would love to get my grimy paws on. So I mean, sadly, that's not here on the 3DS, with the Sky 3DS, excuse me. Um, does saving work on games like Animal Crossing and Pokemon X and Y, does this allow cheats and homebrew? Yes, you can save, you can reload and edit on any 3DS games as a genuine gamepad did but sorry, there's no cheats, there's no homebrew at the moment. Once again, another place where the Sky 3DS falls short of the gateway. First off, the fact that there's still region lock on the Sky 3DS. Second, there's no homebrew. Third, there's no cheats. So those are three main things that the Sky 3DS has against it. So the Sky 3DS is not going to be the better alternative for all factors. When in comparison to the gateway, you're going to have to balance out which features are important to yourself. Now let's take a look at the, another, another um, question and answer. I want to know when this card will be on sale and when you can buy it. We will release our Sky 3DS cards within one or two weeks and you can buy it from one of our resellers online. So the Sky 3DS is currently not available. So in a way, you're still going to have to wait for the Sky 3DS. Just like you're going to have to wait for the Gateway 3DS. So hey, either way, in terms of the wait, you're not going to be able to get it instantly, so there's no loss there. But now, let's balance out the pros and the cons of the Sky 3DS in comparison with the Gateway. Now, the Sky 3DS will be able to play games on the latest firmware, so you know you can plug it into your 3DS right now, even if you just freshly updated, and you'll be able to play it. You can have you know multiple ROMs on it, no problem. So it works pretty much just like you would expect the flash card would. But now we're talking about cons. No gate. I mean. Excuse <laughs> no homebrew, um, region lock, and no um, cheats. So those are kind of bad on the Sky 3DS's part. Those are flaws which the Gateway doesn't have. However, the Gateway will not work on your latest firmware. So like I said, there's a lot of things to take into account balancing between the Gateway and the Sky. Now, if you have not updated your 3DS, that means if you did not update at all, then that means that you will probably be better off with the Gateway 3DS. If you didn't update your 3DS, then that means you will be able to use the Gateway, which means you'll be able to have um, a region lock gone, non-existent region lock. You'll be able to have an amazing menu system. It's a lot more articulate, in my opinion at least, from what I've seen from the video that they're showing us. The menu system on the Gateway looks a lot better. You'll be able to have um, cheats, you'll be able to have homebrew, and those are massive parts of a flashcard, no matter what it tries to make. Now. But if you did update already, then 
you have no choice. If you updated your 3DS already, then you're gonna have to go with the Sky, no matter what, which means you're gonna be losing out on a lot of great functions like the, um, re like the region lot being gone. But hey, you know what? If you don't care about those too much, like I said, you'll be fine with the Sky. So which one are you guys going to settle for? Are there some of you out there that you know didn't update your 3DS, yet you still want the Sky 3DS? If you didn't update, but you still want the Sky 3DS, you gotta let me know, because I don't see where the logic is with that. The, um, for me, the region lock is a huge, huge reason for getting the gateway. Like, it's a massive reason for getting the gateway. And the fact that there is a region lock on the sky automatically made it a for me. I'm not saying your product is bad, but at least for me, in my situation, where I did not update my 3DS, the Sky 3DS isn't going to be my choice. But now, before we end this, let's see exactly how the Sky 3DS is priced in comparison to the gateway. The gateway retails for $80, but the Sky 3DS retails for um, normally 115 but for $85. So you're getting it around the same price as you would the Gateway. But you gotta be a little careful. Now I'm going to see if the Sky 3DS is available on the website that I ordered my Gateway from. So let's see. Real, oh whoops. <laughs> Don't look at that. <laughs> I had the reality case jump over. We're going to see if the Sky 3DS is available on the website that I bought my Gateway from, which is realhotstuff.com. So the Sky 3DS is available. This is where I bought my gateway. Sky 3DS is available at the price of $89. So basically the gateway and the Sky, same price. You're not gonna see any benefit from either or there. So I mean, hey, which one are you guys going to be settling for? Mine will be the gateway, but what is your choice? Let me know in the comments below and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.